Well, boys and girls, it looks like we have a truth head monkey. Ooh, ooh. And by that, we mean someone who follows the conventional wisdom everyone likes to call bro science. You know, like the chicken, rice, and broccoli diet. Yet, just like the vegan fairy boys who are sucking down a bunch of vegan boy juice in their spare time, these bodybuilders aren't telling you about the man juice they're injecting into their butts on a daily basis. And, and some of you guys are like, Frank, stop with the jokes, da, da, da. but these people are being dishonest. They're misleading the average person. And if they weren't using drugs, if they weren't being deceitful, they would not have the similar appearance or the ability to do so. So let's take a look at the clown in the shoes. Good morning, Muscle and Strength. Ryan Terry here. So today I'm gonna to be showing you um, basically what I eat. The first meal of the day is post cardio session, which is 20 to 30 minutes low intensity. I'm gonna go in with one full banana. We've got 100 grams of oatmeal. So I put like one good heat tablespoon in of peanut butter, two scoops whey protein. This is about as classic of a bodybuilder meal as you can get. And one interesting thing to me that might be why, you know, the classic bodybuilders were so much healthier, didn't have distending guts, is the Wi-Fi radiation in our environment. You know, this guy's got that microwave running. He's in this new high-tech house. You know, the amount of EMF exposure that everyone has on a daily basis, if they're not aware of that, is likely what's playing a major factor in the inability to replicate those classic physiques and just that look. You know, from a nutritional perspective, you know, this isn't as crazy horrible as a vegan diet because we still have B vitamins, whey protein, which is very nutritious. But the primary downside of all bodybuilder diets is the sheer volume of food they're eating, which means the agrochemicals, the estrogenic compounds that tend to be in the food are substantially higher. But you know, the stuff these guys are taking tend to offset a lot of those negatives, not all of them. Oats, very high in glyphosate, which someone mentioned last week. You know, we have a conventional whey protein, which is made from conventional milk. So it has all those downsides, the chemicals in it, the estrogenic compounds, plus the actual chemical additives that they're using to add the flavor, the sweetener, whatever it may be. We did a video on peanut butter a couple months back. It's high in omega-6. It's not something you want to consume. I'm genuinely curious if these bodybuilders are just not aware of food quality, they don't care, or this is all just a show. Who knows if they're eating other stuff in there you know, expensive houses off camera. We're gonna be cooking meal two now because I'm starving and I need my second meal. And then I'm also gonna cook off four and five um, because I normally cook all my meals in, in mass, even off season, on season. So we're gonna crack on. 200 grams of protein in a chicken breast. We're having just a couple of stems of broccoli. So I'm not counting broccoli as as calories or anything like that. And then uh, 185 grams cooked weight basmati rice. Now, I don't wanna sound like a broken record with the agrochemicals because the food isn't organic, but that's the predominant issue with all bodybuilder diets. They only focus on macronutrients. They don't care about vitamin, mineral, omega fatty acid balance. If all of the foods were of the highest quality in these meals, it would actually be pretty decent, not bad. You know, when you are consuming an excess amount of calories, you don't want to really focus too much on only fat, only carbs. You know, you don't want to be keto or vegan. You want to be somewhere in between so your body is utilizing all of the digestive enzymes it can. You know, conventional chicken is fed corn and soy. It's very high omega-6. When you go chicken breast and it's leaner, it still has a lot of those negative compounds from the feed in the protein of the tissue. White rice, 
or just rice in general tends to be heavily polluted as well. If you do go organic, there's still some anti-nutrient concerns and it can deplete certain B vitamins. Broccoli, not really beneficial, not really horrible. There's better vegetables and things that have certain types of fiber that can help for gut motility, that can feed your microbiome. But I think he's having another cup of coffee, which is certainly an indicator of a lack of quality nutrition. And you know, when you're taking testosterone or whatever drugs, and you still need to drink coffee, you should really analyze your lifestyle. And, and it really is the low quality sleep caused by high radiation environments. This is meal three, and this is one of my favorite meals of the day, to be honest. So we're gonna go three slices of granary bread. We're gonna go smashed avocado and four poached eggs. And this varies between frying them or poaching them, but I must admit, I'm swaying towards poach more. Yeah, it's kind of lame how these guys as naturals would have to be battling all of the estrogenic compounds that occur in these foods. You know, conventional eggs are basically estrogen bombs, plastic bottled water all day, gigantic estrogen bomb. You know, a lot of you guys ask me why I don't grow facial hair. Well, you know, when you're fed estrogen as a baby, as a kid, as a child, you, know, you don't produce the correct amount of testosterone and you don't get certain primary sexual characteristics that each is supposed to have. Yeah, at least he's got some omega-3 in this meal, some protein, some cholesterol, but the omega-6 content is still pretty high. You know, his diet is very low in fat, and when he does tend to consume fat, it tends to be plant-based, like the peanut butter we saw earlier, as well as the avocado now. Right, guys, so this is meal four, um, and Typically, before I train, I normally go for a high carb, high protein meal. Um, but at the minute, I'm just trying to mix things up and try and get calories in in a more enjoyable way. So I've really taken to basically blending a big smoothie together before I train. So we're gonna be hitting the gym in about an hour from now. So what I'm doing at the minute, I'm doing 50 grams of oats, rolled oats, oatmeal. I'm using about 100 ml of um, soya milk, and then I top it with a little bit of water. Ice. I use about 40 to 45 grams of peanut butter, crunchy, got to have that crunch in there, full banana, and then two scoops of whey protein, which is around 50 grams of protein. Um, I blend that up, and like I say, it's just nice, easy, digestible, ready before I train. Easily digestible, easy on the stomach, not too sure about that. Both that soy milk and that whey protein have tons of chemical additives. They're both estrogen bombs. Oh, the soy is estrogenic, as we all know. And the whey protein is made from conventional milk, which is very estrogenic because the cows are getting fed soy. The oats, the peanut butter, you know, we spoke about earlier. You know, banana isn't the end of the world, but there are specific anti-nutrient compounds in bananas that are higher than other fruits that can cause specific gut issues. This is meal five, which is the 150 grams of steak. I've gone for a ribeye cut, which is just a bit more fatty, off season, just about taste really and, and enjoyment. I've got 185 grams of cooked basmati rice and then some tender stem broccoli. Nice and simple. Um, and this is around six, I think 6.30 p.m. in the evening. And then obviously I will eat probably around half nine my sixth meal. And I always have soya sauce. <laughs> I mean, just real quick, if everything was high quality grass fed, organic, this would actually be pretty similar to meals that I consume now, except I opt for vegetables or, or things that aren't as hard on the liver uh, as like deep green vegetables, which tend to be goitrogenic and have antithyroid compounds in them. He's still uh, waving around that plastic bottle of water. And that plastic bottle of soy sauce, you know, you do have alternatives like coconut aminos. You can use other seasonings that are much, much healthier. Hey guys, hope you're all well. So I've had to come onto my camera, RT camera, um, because Becca's gone home now. It's half past nine-ish here in the UK, and it's my last meal of the day. So I wanted to just show you, but we have two salmon fillets, which is weighing around 180 grams of salmon. We've got 185 grams of white basmati rice, and then we've got tender stem broccoli. 
So this is his last meal and arguably his worst meal solely because he has conventional farm-raised salmon. And if you guys watched my video, is fish too toxic to eat? And I've told the story a couple times. I was eating farm-raised salmon somewhat unknowingly for a week straight. And after I ate it every time, I would lay down in my bed, heart palpitations, felt like I was dying, basically poisoning myself. Thankfully, he's only having it for one meal, but it is quite a large portion. And unfortunately, you know, the oceans are just so, so polluted now. You are poisoning yourself when you're eating most fish. Uh, speaking of poisoning yourself, when you have the same source of like rice and broccoli every single day, same bottle of soy sauce every single day, you want to make sure it's either really high quality, you're at least varying those sources so you're not just using something that's potentially bad for you consistently all the time. So I think the bodybuilders as well as the vegans are two overarching diets that have kind of crept into our modern lives that are not actually healthy. And overall, we just need to increase the food quality, increase the amount of animal foods in our diets, address other lifestyle factors such as EMF radiation, which then improves sleep. You know, you want to make sure to get plenty of sun exposure or supplement things correspondingly. So thank you guys for joining me today. Please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, resubscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you again next week and check that notification bell so that YouTube doesn't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining me guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video and you can check out frank-defano.com for Frankie syringe meat, foods, organ supplements, naturals, Wi-Fi shielding, all of my businesses.